Hey, I am continuing this series that I started packing the outdoors bag and basic essentials that you need for your bag to have camp in the outdoors. And last time I talked about the five C's, which were cutting tool, combustion, cover, container, and cordage. And I have in my backpack the same backpack I used in the last video with the same five C's. And I'm going to show you how those all work together. And you can use just those five items to set up the makeshift camp. So it's the utilization of the five C's, and that is the basis for packing your bag. Those are going to be the first five items that you think of when you're packing your bag. You can remember from last video these same items. Also, I include the bag and always bring a first aid kit for precautionary measures. So that's seven items total. Here's your cover. Here's your blade. When you find a spot you like, start setting up shelter. You can either set up shelter first, or you can start a fire first. And it really just depends on your needs at that time. You know, a fire is going to give you light, it's going to give you warmth, but shelter is going to protect you from the elements. If it's windy, if it's rainy, if it's snowing, then you're going to need to do the shelter first. I'm going to do the shelter first. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of my paracord and take my knife that off and make a lanyard for my knife. So that way, if I'm using this and I want to hold on to it better, I can do that. I can always make this better later on. So you use the quarters and the tarp together. Cordage could also be used with the lighter when starting a fire. And all five of these items just work together. What I like to do is make a lark's head. And how you do that is you take the cord, you bend it in half. You put it through the eyelet of the tarp. And when you have that loop, you put the other two ends through the loop and pull it tight. And it looks like that. That's called a lark's head. Other uh, videos, I'm going to show you how to make, you know, how to tie other knots, like slip knots and bowling knot and stuff like that. But just for now, I just want to show you how all five of these items work together. Find a couple of sticks. You sharpen the points. So you can put this in the ground. Just making tent stakes with this. Now I have two tent stakes. This tends to fray, so I just tie a knot in it or uh, 
so it doesn't so it doesn't fray on me and then you can burn the in, the edges of this the ends of it with your lighter and it'll melt it so that it doesn't fringe out but that's a good temporary hold This can be used as a tool. That's going to be the baton. I don't really need to baton anything, but I'm just going to show you so you'll know. There you go off a piece and so this I can use since it's all dry on the inside you split it so it can be dry on the inside and then I can make shavings with this you take your knife and you make little shavings one of the other five C's a container that wood smoking it, we probably have a fire here but I just want to show you use the container Catch your shavings. Make a bed with these sticks that will hold your shavings. Uh oh. Just in case you cut yourself with your knife or anything else. Hey, I'm actually back home. Um, actually in my backyard doing the rest of this video and the reason for that is that besides it being more convenient it, we actually have snow the snow that didn't melt and down at the property that I do my bushcraft stuff on we, all the snow melted away and I wanted to show you the last thing of the five C's I didn't talk much about was the container and you need that obviously to drink out of to cook in and I can show you here just use the same lighter that you have you want to start your fire but obviously there's there's cooler ways to start your fire and I I'll have more fire videos and stuff later I actually already have a few fire videos but I'm gonna be making a few more but just for educational purposes about talking about the container you start your fire and you want to boil water if you have access to a creek or a river and let's say you run out of water that you bring with you and you can get water out of the creek and then you can boil it using your stainless steel pot or if it's snow then you can just get get some snow put it in your pot and you can melt it now the only thing about this is that you could have a full cup of snow or a heaping pile of snow in your cup and when it melts down you're gonna get like half an inch but that's it's not a major deal you just keep putting more snow in and you're gonna have 
you know, like probably an endless amount of snow if it snowed, so you can have access to water that way at all times. So after this melts down, then you can drink it. And it'll be it'll be pure water because rainwater and snow are gonna be your cleanest forms of water. Anything else needs to be boiled or put through a filter or using a purification tablet. All right, I hope that was educational for you. So now you know what the five C's are and how to use them. And there's many other uses for each of these five tools. Um, I just kind of touched on the basics of them. Cutting tool, combustion, cover, container, cordage. And of course, don't forget your first aid kit. And the next video I'm gonna do is talking about different bags. If you're gonna be doing any camping, you're gonna want a bag bigger than this, so don't get this. But this bag is really good if you just wanna get out here with your five C's and just play around in the woods and get used to using them. And it's also good for a trail bag for walking trails. And don't forget your first aid kit. So seven items all together. And that'll get you started on packing your outdoors bag. And like I said before, the next video I should do in this uh, packing the outdoors bag series is different bags. So that's what you want to start off with. And you want one that's going to suit your needs for what you're going to do. Not too big, not too small. Some people like lots of pockets, some people don't. And um, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section. You guys have a good day and God bless.